Cave Baby is the first time I've ever illustrated for another author, so it's very exciting and quite nerve-wracking. And it's a story about a little baby, Cave Baby, and today I'm going to show you how I draw him. Now, drawing human beings I find a lot more difficult than drawing animals. I think because with an animal you can give it a lot of character by its marking, so if it's a rabbit you can put a spot on it, or you can have long floppy ears that show character. But when it comes to human beings, even if you move the eyes slightly out of position, you end up with a completely different character. See, this one's looking a bit chubby. Sometimes he comes out too fat, and sometimes he comes out looking too old. So I have drawers full of cave babies that don't look quite right. Cave babies brothers. And it's very uh, d easy to sort of make the baby look a completely different age by the length of the limbs because babies have quite large heads in proportion to their bodies. See, this one's not a very good one. I try and keep a picture of my favourite picture of Cave Baby near where I'm working and then if I'm going wrong I can just look up and see what's wrong with it. But it's a bit like uh, all faces are different when you look at people and you recognise them but you don't really know why you recognise them. It's not because of something really obvious, it's because of the little subtle things in their faces, their expressions. And it's the same with a drawing of a person. Quite a lot of the book, um, Cave Baby's looking quite frightened and that's because his dad has threatened that if he misbehaves he's going to be thrown to a big brown bear. Do some painting. <laughs> Cave baby.